Hello, beautiful humans. I am here with a vlog update on my surgery rehab. I am somehow miraculously now at six months post-surgery and um, I am a lot better. I'm able to walk and run without pain. I'm doing about five miles a week running and I am able to start to get some of my releve back. But what I wanted to talk about today is that I'm finding in the rehab process that I'm having to revisit a lot of the reasons why the arthritis started in the first place and address those root causes. And one of those root causes is the fact that I sprained my ankle so many times and never did any kind of rehab for it. And I know this is a common story because I see it all the time in so many of my clients and the people that I work with that a sprained ankle can seem like something that you could just kind of like work off, walk off, and it kind of goes away, especially when you're young. And my ankle instability that I've had since I was a kid due to my hypermobility has caused me to sprain my ankle dozens of times to varying different degrees of severity. And without the proper rehabilitation, my body has stopped trusting my ankles. And in that lack of trust, I have had to really work hard to find stability in other places, like my right big toe, which is overworked, creating the problem in the joint that eventually led to the arthritis and the surgery where we are today. So part of what I've been doing in my rehab is really stabilizing my ankle. And I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite exercises. Now, and I wanna make it clear that I'm not saying that these exercises are the best exercises or the ones that you should definitely do if you sprained your ankle. Because everyone's rehabilitation process is a little different and you might be at a different place in your process than where I am, you might need something different. But so I here is a series that I'm currently doing that I really like. I use a slant board for this, and the slant board enables me to work my ankle at different angles. So I will work it flexed, pointed, and both inverted and everted. And I'll do some small knee exercises and some isometric holds in each of those positions to start to feel more and more stable and to feel that my ankle is strong and can handle those different angles well. And over time, I start to increase the amount of angle in the slant board to get more and more work in the ankle at different angles. I can also do this on a BOSU ball, which has even less stability, which is going to force my hip to do a little bit more work and really challenge the whole system a little bit extra. So those are some of the exercises that I'm doing for my foot and ankle, and this is really just a PSA to encourage you to please, when you get an injury, even if it seems small, do some graded work after that injury to get yourself back to where you were before. All right, everybody, that's my little vlog update for today. I will keep you posted. Thank you so much.